Hi guys. So I've had my Corriente saddle for almost a week and it is a nice rainy day. So I decided to finally get my review video put together and put on here. Uh, I'm going to go through the good and the bad real quick just in case you're in a hurry and you don't have time to watch this whole video right now. So the good thing about it is for one, it's affordable. I got this saddle brand new for $6.95 shipped. And that was even with the customization of, you know, no tooling and the purple inlaid seat. Um, the second thing is it did run true to size. I ordered a 14 and a half and it rides like a 14 and a half should for me anyways. So for me, it definitely was true to size as far as the seat goes. Um, it also came in a whole week early which I think might have something to do with having no tooling. They didn't have to spend any extra time, you know, carving into the leather. So that could be why it was a week early. I don't know if that happens every time, but it was definitely a good thing for me. The only negative thing I have to say about it is I'm probably going to have to get more holes punched into the stirrup leathers because I have shorter legs even though I'm 5'5 five five, I have a long torso and my legs are shorter and I was really worried about them not coming up enough and I have them all the way up and I still feel like they're just like one hole probably too long but I'm gonna go ahead and probably get two holes punched just in case um, but other than that I don't really have anything to complain about from the saddle or from the company the customer service was great they answered all my questions and they were really prompt in responding to me so um, but other than that that's the good and the bad and uh, I definitely would recommend them it's a really good saddle for the money so enjoy the rest of the video okay y'all today is a big day I have officially received a box inside the box is what we're after though first brand new saddle I've ever ordered so let's open it up okay y'all I'm so nervous to open this thing because I'm worried that it's not gonna be right and I might have to send it back but hopefully not so Oh my gosh, there it is. Okay. Uh. <gasps> oh, I got a hat. There you go. Okay. And <sighs> I don't know why I'm so nervous. Okay, so. Uh, this actually arrived a whole week early, which is really good because we got some shows this weekend we might go to. And just carrying the box, uh, it's not as heavy as I thought. This is my friend's saddle. It's a same, it's a Corriente, but it's too small for me. I have been borrowing it, um, and it is a little heavy, like on the front end, kind of. But this other one does not feel as heavy as this one. Of course, it could be because it doesn't have the girth and all that on it. But um, we're going to find out. So, oh, so here it is. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited. Uh, I ordered it with no tooling. I wanted it that way. I wanted it simple. That way, because I've had saddles with tooling before, and I hate trying to clean all the nooks and crannies, so I would just told him, I was like, I want a, uh, a smooth, no tooling, no lettering, nothing. And that is what I have, and I'm so excited, because now I can just take a cloth and be like, whoosh, 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 and it's clean. Now, this part is probably my favorite. Purple is my favorite color, in case you didn't know. Of course, if you know me in real life, that uh, 
you know that purple is my favorite color. So I'm so excited to have this, this dark purple inlay in the seat. And the pencil roll. I wanted it just because it kind of has like a, a rustic kind of look, ranchy look vibe to it. Um, I don't think I like it as much as I thought I would, but I am not going to complain. And then the rough out fenders. And comes with metal stirrups. See, I didn't know if it was going to come with metal stirrups or not. So I guess the upgraded ones, which my friend got the upgraded ones, I guess is with the design on them. So, but still, it comes with metal stirrups, so that's awesome. Yep. Uh, let's see, what else? What else, what else, what else? It's got the hoof pick thing here, which I love because I haven't had one in a long time that has had this on there. And, uh, because sometimes my horses are barefoot on the front, so that's, um, really good to have. And I also love <laughs> that it comes with a rear cinch. Because I ride in a rear cinch. I know some people don't, but I personally would not ride without one. So, uh... I'm so excited about this y'all. I cannot wait to ride in it. And as you can see, they're just finishing up lunch. So this is actually perfect timing. Ride. I love it. I'm in love y'all. In love. Oh, it's gonna be so easy to keep clean. Cause you just wipe it down. <laughs> There's no dueling. Yes, okay. So, the horn. Yeah. I think my horn is actually a little, just a tad bit longer than my friend's saddle, which I like a, like a medium sized horn. Let's see. Yeah, see I can only get three fingers on that one. This one here I can. It's like three and a half so uh but yes a whole week early y'all i'm so excited i cannot wait to try this thing out um, another thing that i did not move this box i did not do was upgrade to the 100 percent wool or whatever it is because uh, my friend's saddle, which I want to give a quick shout out. She has let me borrow this saddle. I've had this saddle for a month now, y'all. and uh, Or almost a month. And I'm so grateful to have friends um, like her. But this is the, is the different bottom. And I've had some issues with it um, not working good with some of the pads I have. And I think that uh, it's because this is kind of slick. Like it's, there's a big difference. This definitely has a lot more like grip to it than this does. So I'm hoping that's gonna help it some. But I know another part of it is this is a uh, seven inch gullet, which I think that's what um, the standard gullet that they, that Corriente makes them with. So, uh, my boy over there is not quite a seven inch yet. He got injured, he got fat, and now I've started working him and he's kind of gotten lean. So I'm working on just trying to build him back up. Uh, so he's not quite there yet, but I've been shimming to help the, to help it fit correctly. So, um, but anyways, as soon as uh, I go to the house and put some jeans on, we are going to try this bad boy out. Measuring it to make, let me get my tape measure right here. Okay, so I ordered a 14 and a half. So, as you can see, it's true to its size. Um, my friend's saddle is a 13 and a half, so it was definitely too small for me. 
but I made it work until I got mine in. So, um, purple on purple. I told y'all, purple's my favorite color. Okay. Horse number one, the stud, five year old. Uh, let me straighten it up. Okay. So, it actually fits pretty decent on him. I think it has a little less rock than the other one. Don't know why that is, but you know, uh, it is just a little bit wide right here. Just a little. It sits down just a little. Not bad. Like I said, he's not quite a seven uh, yet, but with the shim, you know, it picks it up and and it sits real nice. So there's just just a little bit of rock in it. I'm gonna back up enough where you can see it. But still, pretty decent fit. So, uh, let's get to it. All right, just swung my leg over. I can tell it's new. <laughs> it's stiff. But so far, so good. All right. So I will ride around and see what we get. Yeah, I love this saddle. I love how it feels. I love the pocket for my butt to sit in. Uh, um, yes, the bigger seat definitely lets me keep my feet where I want them, not straight under me but just a little in front of me and I don't know I just feel so balanced in it um, so check check plus for horse number two so far so far I've just done some warming up so we're fixing to do some more maneuvers to see what we get okay finally horse number three with the new Corriente saddle uh, fits her good too um, she is really prominent in her withers though so I also shimmed it with her because she has um, some distension here you know the indentation but uh, it fits her good too it didn't slide back or anything um, so overall it fits um, so far you know it fits my the cow bread it fits the OTTB and her and she is shorter she's shorter than he is but she's got the prominent with her so she's short back and with a higher with her so um, it fits her good too so overall I'm very very pleased with my saddle um, I do recommend though if you are going to be riding multiple horses uh, to get some shims to kind of go with it just in case the 7 inch is a little too wide.